All right, so I guess this is part six. This is where we take the turbo back off and then we get down in here and get the blower apart and see if that is the cause of the oil coming out of the breather, the air box drains. And we got two hoses, they come off the air box chamber right here. There's one on either side and they are just pouring oil. So we're gonna take it apart and see if it's in the blower seals, if the lubricant oil for the bearings has getting into here and pushing it down in, we gotta get it apart. All right, so I got the blower out and this was just filled with mouse nests and acorns and nuts and seeds and all kinds of crap down in here. So I, I cleaned that up real good and uh, took the blower off and looked at it the blower seals didn't look horrible we'll show you that in a minute but what i did find is this is where the oil feed comes up to feed the bearings on each end of the blower there's a set here of seals and a set here what i was thinking was possibly those seals were leaking and letting oil that lubricant oil get into the blower and shove it down into the engine and uh I mean, obviously, we're getting oil on this side of the aftercooler. But when I took it off, you can see here that this is the oil line, and it is pretty much sealed. It looked like it was sealed off pretty good. And if you look at this one, it looks like it maybe not. It looks like it may have been blowing into the cooler. So that may be our problem right there. I took the blower apart. And it just wasn't as oily as I really expected it to be. You know, I expected to see a lot more oil like dripping for as much as it was coming out, but uh, the veins looked okay, the shaft looked okay, the bearings were tight, and um, actually in pretty decent shape. But uh, the oil feed we're talking about it would have been this one here blowing into uh, inside the blower and this is the blower gasket here and you can see how the backside was still pretty well intact like it's not it's not separated but this one was gone you know it, it didn't come it didn't stay on the engine and it didn't stay on the blower it just fell off you can see how it only seals just around the outside it doesn't seal any of this chamber it just seals where the bearing the end of the blower meets the blower housing that gasket seals those two parts and seals off <clears throat> the others so I don't think the blower is the issue I think it was that gasket at least that's that's what I'm thinking right now unless I find something else we are now going to um, get everything cleaned up. I have another blower coming to remanufactured. So we're going to get all these parts cleaned up so when it gets here, we can put it back together. So he's got all the parts to the blower all cleaned up. And uh, he's priming it now so he can paint it. Came out pretty good. Hmm? Came out pretty good what it was. Yeah. It was pretty rough. It's really greasy. It's oil coated, grease coated, crud coated, mouse poop coated. <laughs> it had it all, man. The new blower is on its way, but it doesn't come with these parts. So I want to get them all painted. So when they do, when it does show up, these are all dried and somewhat cured. So I can put them on. I still have to clean the bolts. I want to be careful I don't get any paint on the governor that would make it stick. That'd be bad. You got to be careful of this stuff too because. This was back when really bad paint was used. They didn't want to breathe the crap that we cleaned up off this. Should use a mask. 
can uh, hit a couple things from this side on there. You'll see it when you come around. Oh, yeah? Yeah, see? Right in here? Yep, and then up. Him. What are you talking about? Maybe up by that round part. I don't see it. Where do you mean? Well, you got it, Dorcas. Oh. Oh. It's hard to paint when the wind's blowing. Yes. When you're trying to put it on, you end up putting it on heavy because of the wind. Then you get runs. I took my glasses off because I don't want them, them painted. You get runs like that right there. Oh, well. Good thing I'm not painting the car. That's all I can say. Ooh, look at there. Look at that spot you missed. Can you believe it? It's actually pretty chilly today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to snow tomorrow. What did you ask me earlier? Do you think I should mow today before it snows? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. It's the, I think tomorrow night it's going to get down to 28. Okay. I think you need to step in hole. You need to get right there. Shut it. I don't see what you're talking about. I'll get this while you're waiting to show me. Whatever. Well, good. Then I don't know about the end of that thing. Is that just a reflection or does it need a touch up? I'll touch it up. It'll make you happy. I reckon. Okay. We'll let that dry. All right, so the blower just showed up, and I was just looking it over before I install it, and, uh, you know, every single hole in the top has a helicoil in it. It is an aluminum housing, but, you know, I would just prefer that it wasn't like that. So... I care for that big score mark there, whatever was on there, vice grips or something. I don't know. Hmm. Pretty good gouge right there. I think it'll seal okay though. Let's get a look at the bottom side. Wow. See how that gasket could be a problem. This is the oil feed we were talking about before. And let's see which side is this. That's that side. This is the side. This is the rear for the fuel pump, which I guess faces the front actually. Um, so if we look at this again, our bypass is right there. So that's the rear. So this is the oil um, oil place we suspect may have been leaking, and this is the other one not a whole lot there as far as room so that gas is going to have to be really torqued down well hmm. well can't say as i like that that side's okay That's a that's a pretty substantial step right there. Hmm. Overall, it looks pretty good. The outside casing, there's a lot of remnants of paint still on it. I noticed on the other side. Let's see it in here. Hey, okay. All right. Well, let's get ready to put her on. I guess. All right, so I have everything transferred over and ready to go on the blower. So now we're going to install it. All right, so I got the blower in and I've got it all torqued down. And before I set it down, I take the gasket that goes in there and I uh, I spray the gasket with high tech. 
and I spray the block with high tack. That way it'll hold it in place. You can see it way down in here maybe. I don't know if that'll actually show up, but you can see the red right there. So it's important you make sure that it didn't move. So I like to take and look on both sides because just because this side didn't move didn't mean that side didn't. So I'll check both sides. You can't get to the ends because the gasket is only you know into this area it's not out here and you can't see it so but i'll get a mirror and i'll look at it real good and hopefully everything's good to go and we can move forward all right if you follow me on instagram or you've been in one of my live streams recently you probably know that i pulled all the injectors out of this engine both sides i did a cylinder compression test and cylinder leak down test for every cylinder and i got the results that i expected it's just an old tired worn out motor it has four pounds of oil pressure, like I said before. Had he told me that ahead of time, the video series would have went completely different. We would have focused here. I gave the owner the option. I said, listen, the blower is already off. The valve covers are off. The injectors are out. The, um, the rack is off. Uh, we're at a point where I just got to pull heads, drop an oil pan. We can roll in new bearings, throw in some sleeves and some cylinders, a few thousand bucks in parts, and... It'll get you through the season, maybe a little longer. Well, I've got it all together and I finally got it to uh, prime up and start, but uh, it didn't, you know, the oil pressure problem isn't getting any better and the owner has located a used engine with very low hours and low miles on it. So we're gonna be taking this out completely. We'll take the cooler pack out and we'll take the hood off and uh, we're gonna pull motor and transmission at the same time. We're gonna put in his used engine that he's found and that's the most cost effective thing he can do at this point um, we'll set this thing aside and we will uh, go through it at a later date and have it as a backup so he'll still end up with a rebuilt engine just he'll be able to get the truck up and running and put a driver in it so look for that that'll be the next thing we're going to uh, be working on that like i said we'll pull the cooler back cool the hood and uh, we'll get this thing out of here Sorry that the sun's really bright today. Um, so we'll get this out of here and get the used one. He's going to go pick it up here in the next few days. So we got to get this out. So we'll catch you on the next one.